In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the basic features of Tweepy to help you get started in creating Twitter bots. Before we start, it's important to know that I created a video where I show you the full Tweepy setup process. If you don't have Tweepy setup, you can watch the video using the link in the description or clicking the icon at the top right of the screen. Also, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notifications. Also, check out my other social media for updates on projects I'm currently working on. Alright, here we are in Visual Studio Code with Tweepy already set up. I'll now be showing you the basic features of Tweepy. So we can start off with something simple, and that's creating a tweet. We can create a tweet by typing client.createTweet. This create tweet method has a few parameters, but to create the tweet, we'll only be using the text parameter. Inside the text parameter, we need to pass a string, meaning that anything in these quotation marks will be tweeted. So for example, if I say hello Twitter, and I run this program, we can wait for it to stop running in the console. When we now go to the Twitter account with which the spot was set up with, we can see a new tweet that it says hello Twitter, so we know that this works. The next few features I'll be showing you require tweet IDs, so I'll just be clicking on the tweet we made, and then this part of the link up here, the part with numbers, we need to copy, because we'll be using this to interact with the tweet. This is the tweet's ID. Later in this video, and in future videos, I'll be showing you how to get tweet IDs using the bot, without having to go onto Twitter every time. Back in our code, we can first of all delete this tweet method. We can then type client.like, and then just paste the tweet ID into this method. This method method likes the tweet that has this ID. So this will basically like the tweet we just made. Let's run the bot and go to Twitter. When we refresh this page, we can see that the bot has indeed liked the tweet we just made, which is pretty cool. Back in our code, we can delete this line and type client.retweet and paste the tweet ID in here. This will retweet the tweet whose ID we pass here. Instead of immediately running the code again, I actually want to show you how to leave replies as well. We again need to use the create tweet method. So client.createTweet, but this time we add a second argument to a parameter called in reply to tweet ID, and we then say that that's equal to the tweet ID. We can then pass text to the parameter we used earlier called text. This time, however, we'll say text equals hello user. Basically, this whole line of code will leave this reply to this tweet. If we now run our code and go back to Twitter, we can see that the tweet has indeed been retweeted, and we can also see that the reply feature works as well. The bot left a reply to its own tweet. We'll now be doing some of the more advanced features. I'll be showing you how to display each new tweet in your home timeline onto the console or terminal. So let's go over this real quick. We'll need to search for each tweet and then for each tweet found, we need to output that into the terminal. All right, so we type for tweet in api.home timeline colon and then inside the for loop print tweet.text. This first line of code basically searches for each tweet in our home timeline. This api.home timeline part stores each tweet in our timeline. And then this first part that says for tweet in basically retrieves each tweet one by one. This tweet variable here now represents the current tweet. And so inside of the for loop, make sure there's an indent here, then we can display the current tweet in the loop by using the print function. Inside of the print function, we could have displayed many things, but we'll be choosing to display the current tweet's text. So we type tweet, and then to access the text of the tweet, we type dot text. Before we run the code, we want to just delete these lines of code here. Now we can run the bot, and in our console, we see that there are many tweets displayed. These are the tweets in our home timeline. So if we were to open Twitter now, then the tweets in our home timeline are going to be the same as the tweets displayed in the console. Instead of getting the text of the tweet, there's other information we could get as well, such as the ID of the tweet. We just have to change this to dot ID instead of dot text. There are other things as well. I'll show some on the screen. We can now delete this entire block of code because I want to show you the last two features. It's possible to get the ID of a Twitter account. This is important if you want to, for example, follow some Twitter account or send messages or like all of their tweets, etc. So I'll now be getting my own Twitter account ID through code. I'll be storing it in a variable called person. The actual method getting the ID is called get user and it's part of the client object. We need to pass an argument to a parameter called the username. Inside of username, we need to pass the username of the Twitter account whose ID we want. You can pass any account in here, but I'll be passing the bot account that we're using to run all the code on. So the account is called tutorial account 8. This alone doesn't get us the ID. 
So we have to access it by typing dot data dot ID. This person variable now stores the account ID of my Twitter bot. So now I can use this ID to do some things. I'll be showing you how to display or print each tweet that this account has made into the console. To do that, we type for tweet in client dot get users tweets. And then we pass the ID of the account whose tweets we want, which in my case is stored in person. So we can then just type person in here. We then need to access the actual tweets, which are stored in get users users tweets data variable. So we then type dot data. For each tweet, we can then just print it into the console or terminal by typing print and then passing the tweets text by typing tweet dot text. If we now run this code, then we should see all the tweets that this account has ever made in the terminal, which we do. Those are all the features I'll be showing you in this beginner tweepy tutorial. In upcoming videos, I'll be showing you how to create different kinds of bots, namely reply bots, like bots, and also retweet bots. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also check out my other social media for updates on the projects I'm currently working on. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed and I also hope to see you in the next video.